Hi friends, so today I'm going to be doing a basic maintenance of the uh, upright that is going into the swirl filter. So this pipe over here goes in and then goes all the way down. So there's a fair amount of clogging that's happening in that. So this cleaning is what I'm going to be doing today and I'll show you how uh, I'll be doing this. If you just have a look at the water is slightly mucky and there's a lot of floating particles in that. So I'll just pop this out and uh, I'll show you how I clean. If you can see the amount of muck that is collected in this. So basically all these holes are kind of getting clogged. So I'm just going to take a, you know, a, a pressure wash and just give it a bit of a blast. And that should clean the main reason we don't stick any of these things is so that can easily remove this for maintenance. So if you look at that. So if you look at the amount of dirt that's come out of this, that's a lot. So just by giving it a good amount of, <coughs> you know, uh, wash through a water jet should be sufficient. And I do this once every two months. But now I'm going to also do a minor modification. So for this upright, I'm going to uh, drill a couple more holes here because I've noticed there's a lot of floating particles. So that should kind of take some amount of the floating particles back into the you know, swirl filter so i'll just uh, get to start doing that so i'm just using a 10 mm drill bit and i'm straight drilling into the sides of these That's it, that this should do the job. So, this guy goes in here. So that's it. So one of the reasons we don't glue any of these parts in aquaponics is so that we can easily remove this for maintenance. So this is how the device is looking now. So let me just go ahead and install this and we should be good to go
this guy just goes in here and simply attaches to this. So that's it. Now in a few hours, this whole water should be pretty clear. So that is the routine maintenance done once every one and a half, two months. So in a few hours, this water will be clearer once all the particles start going through the extended holes and into the swirl filter. Thanks for watching guys. If you guys have any suggestions or comments, pop them below and I'll get back to you as and when I can. Thank you.